Okay. All done here. So, let's just... Ah, it's a bright and happy day. Since all those convicts are dead. What's over here? You know, there might be more of them. I should be careful. I mean, they might have, like... They might, might be in here. Okay, Henry. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Okay. I don't think I'm going to need my gun in here. Um, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Oh. Um. Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. More importantly, do you buy things? Oh, first of all, let's take a look at what you can. Hmm. Well, let's just let's see about what, what I can, get, get, can give you here. Um. I don't really need that, I don't think. No. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm not pardoned in my cold dead hands. Um, let's see, let's see. It'd be easier to do it this way. Okay, what does Henry not need? Uh, I need, probably don't need the sort of. Let me take that. Um, let's see. Um, silence pistol. Yeah, just the same as this one. Nah, I don't need that. Um, laser. Uh, maybe I'll just hold on to it for now. It might be end up being useful. Um, yeah, you can buy these guys, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, I seem to have tapped you out, but I'm probably going to buy some stuff from you. So let's just see what you have. Um, nothing there. Maybe I could sell some of the dynamite to you. Um, do you have like... Uh, you have, oh, you have, oh, you have a weapons repair kit. Yes, I like that. And stim packs. I really like that. Let me see what I can do. Um, Maybe I'll come back for that. Um, miscellaneous. Uh, hey, do you have any doctor's bags? Ammo, ammo, ammo. Do you have ammo for that really cool weapon that I have now? No, you don't. Okay. Um, all right. So I think I could sell you something else here. Hold on a minute here. Uh, I don't really need these hats here, you know. Um, I keep the doctor's fatigue, so it might be good for something. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I... Oh, you know, I didn't even check to see if you had any food. Food would be good. Uh, let's see. That's pretty heavy. I don't need that. You can buy that. Um, yeah, hold on to those. I might need to wash my clothing, you know, because after all, it's, it's got the blood all over it and everything like that. Um... Let me see. What don't I need? Um, if I don't have any 9mm... Oh, I might be able to use that. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I think we got us a deal here. All right. This is good. This is good. Henry's got some stuff. He's been so Okay, good. Give good. me a shout if you need anything else. Um, okay. Um. Bye. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that I don't need my weapon out. These people don't seem to be trouble but that's good I got whole Henry sold some stuff this is good all right whoa um what, what what's this it says Move along, please. prim sim is, is that what is that what Victor looks like hmm. Oh, by the way, I killed the convicts who were in the place. Anybody care? No. Hi. Oh, yeah, I just talked to you. Hi. Oh, Rup. Oh, she's loaded to bear. Okay. Yeah. That, that. Putting the putting the gun away is a good thing, honey. You know. Bank. Wow. Yeah, look at the bank. Yeah, it's locked, and they probably wouldn't like me doing that. Okay. All right. Um. Hello. Hello. What's this? No, I'd probably better not do that. I might get these people mad at me. 
Hello, does anybody I can talk about be me being a cool guy? Howdy. That's, uh, okay. Nobody really cares that I saved the day. Okay, maybe I go back to those army guys because they seem to care. Uh, hi? No? Howdy. Okay. Um. Howdy. Maybe I should talk to that guy. Uh, hey there. Where, where's his wife? Howdy. Okay, um, howdy, howdy. everybody. You, you, okay, no. Uh, hi, Ruby. Hello there. Uh, what brings you to Prim? Uh, could you not point the gun at me, please? Hello. I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. Long timers. Didn't he say eight years? Most people wouldn't consider that to be long-term or for a town. Okay, uh, tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. Uh, it's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Okay, um, alright. See you. Okay, I'll go back and talk to him. Move along, please. Um, what are you doing over there? Um, do I need to come back? You busy? Um, that, I, I don't think you probably... Should you be doing that near the door? Uh, hello? Hey, youngster. Okay. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yeah, you guys keep pointing guns at me. Um, yeah, I had some questions about Prim. Well, I'll answer what I can. Okay. Um, uh, what happened to, what happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, it was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. You're going to make me go back and untie him, aren't you? Yeah. Don't go getting yourself shot. You don't care about what I did unless I saved a little freaking fine. It would be so very delightful if you set me free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Um. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Howdy. Uh. Um. Uh, where did you get the gun? <sighs> 
Where did you get the different voice? And how did you teleport? Never mind. Okay. What was that? Where is he? Come hey on. There. Hello? Where is Nash? Come on, where is that you? Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Um, I rescued the deputy against my better judgment. I feel safer already. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's still more of them powder gangers out there than I care to count. What we need around here is a real sheriff. Someone who can help fight off the next attack. Uh, okay. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? I thought they were powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Uh, okay. Bye. So... Do you have anything to say? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? But, but the town doesn't have a sheriff. I don't have an employer, and that means I don't have a job. If you think you might be able to help, come find me. I thank you for all you've done. Oh, I can help this town. Right there. I can help this town. I'll go talk to the NCR people. Okay. Uh. Ooh, it's a bag. Okay. Um. I think there was a knapsack there, wasn't there? Ooh, yeah, I can carry more now. What's this? Okay. Barter. Okay. That may be enough. That might be useful. Um, is a weapon? No, it was on his back or something. There was a note. There was a note. There was a note. Hold on a minute. Hold on. There was a note. There was a note. Okay, dear Bruce. Uh, I think Carlos has finally flipped his, uh, his, you know, lid. Always talking about badass ranger. Uh, uh, I always don't want to ditch this desert. Uh, always worried about Carlos. Okay, yep, Charlie, okay. Alright. Oh, who just make money on the floor there? Okay. Okay, somebody got cleaned out here. Um, bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap. And letter to Carlos. This Carlos guy is really getting around. Ah, okay, uh, letter to Carlos. All right, let me just take a look here. Oh, this is a nice little bench here. And this stuff here. Hmm. I'll keep I'll keep this in my mind if I need to like build something. 
Okay, there was another note. Letter to Carlos, me and Charlie. Oh, that would be you, wouldn't it? Okay, uh, me and Charlie, the Charlie kid, are uh, turned this place over. We grabbed the lovely loot while that courier was out of town. Uh, I stuck a 12 gauge in Charlie's back. And, okay, so. Okay, um. So these two guys came together. He shot him. Um, but who shot you? Okay, this is really weird. Um, and you know, I don't want to deal with it. Nope, nope, nope. Not my problem. No, not my problem at all. Okay. I should talk to those NCR guys. Maybe at least is there anything in here? You know, I should have my weapon out. Okay, um... Ooh, ammo! Ammo is good. Let's see here. Okay, this is, this is a good thing. Okay, ammo is good. Alright, ammo! Okay! Good, alright. I should... Uh, I'll go back to that lieutenant. Maybe he can tell me something. Careful, make sure I got all the mines, because if the mines I can have you. I don't want to get step on one on the way back. I also don't want to walk this way with a gun drawn because they might think I'm one of those batter gangers even though I'm not wearing one of those outfits. Okay. Hello? Somebody's gotta give me a reward. I'm gonna kill these guys and, and stuff and they need a sheriff and Hey, you got the same kind of, uh, you got the same kind of, uh, bandana. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Um, I disagree. You got the same kind of hat as that lady back there, one who gave me the mission. I'm not sure you should be here. Okay. When a guy holding on a shotgun says I don't think he should be there, then I'm not. Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Okie dokie. Sir. That's where I was going. You're a very polite young man, too. Okay. He recognizes the importance of Henry. All right. Uh, Lieutenant Hayes. Yeah? Um... And I don't get any kind of recognition whatsoever from my Sir. wonderful accomplishment. I... I have to go back and talk to that deputy guy and somehow not shoot him, right? Yeah. Uh, Was there anything in there? There wouldn't be anything in here, because these guys are right here. If there was anything, they would have taken it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of aerobics. Okay. Gotta stay in shape, and we need to stay in shape for bad guys and stuff. Uh, Alright, so let me talk to this. The weasel. And then maybe somebody will reward me. Where is Move he? along, please. I would love to. I'm very close to just leaving this place. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? <sighs> What are the qualifications of a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Okay. I'll help bring law and order back to Brim. You will? 
That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Okay, so... I have the choice of turning the town over to Pull the NCR... Off, turning the town over to NCR and putting these people under martial law or going to the prison controlled by the powder gangers killing all the powder gangers and bringing back a guy who might be a really good sheriff Yeah, I think killing the powder gangers probably wins that one. Yep. Yeah. That's what Henry's going to do, isn't he? 